Welcome to another installment of Europe to the Max. Roll em. I already feel like I'm in a movie in one of the many spaghetti westerns that were shot here. And no wonder I'm in the middle of a desert out here. I'm all alone in the desert of Tabernas, the driest region in Europe. Water. Water. You should always have it with you when you walk or drive to the desert of Tabernas. For this you will be rewarded with breathtaking views and with cinematic experiences. To be exact, it's only a semi-desert. But to me, it feels like an absolutely bona fide one. It's located in southern Spain, about 20 kilometers north of Almeria, and covers an area of some 280 square kilometers. No place in Europe gets less rain than here. Never more than 250 millimeters of precipitation a year. That's about this much. And it's hot. Temperatures of 40 degrees Celsius are normal here. The region gained fame as a location for shooting movies. In particular for the spaghetti westerns of the 1960s and 70s. I'm riding the trail of Italian director Sergio Leone to one of the western towns that he had built in the mid-1960s. The grand old man of spaghetti westerns shot once upon a time in the west in this desert. His famed western trilogy made Clint Eastwood a world star. At high noon and for a fistful of dollars, or rather euros, I can see firsthand how this desert is transformed into the wild west. The cash pays the admission to the movie sets, now known as Fort Bravo. Right now I'm fulfilling my dream of riding through a western town as a cowboy. Now anyone can play the lead here, even me. As a tourist, I can relive the authentic look and feel of life in the wild west. Hola muchacha. ¿Acaso tienes algún problema, gringo? No. Ah. That was just a bit too authentic for my taste. The tourists flock to the daily western shows. I'd rather stay in the background this time and show my face again when the coast is clear. That wasn't a big deal, but now I'm going to meet the man behind the action. That's Rafael Molina. Not only is he the boss around here, he owns the whole town. Hola. Hola, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Good. 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 Super here. Great here. It's, it's here. like a childhood dream for me. Oh yeah, it was just the same for me. When I was little, I'd go to the movies and watch the westerns, and I'd always said, I'd go and visit this place one day. And now we're both standing here, a German and a Spaniard, and we can make our childhood dreams come true. <laughs> Rafael Molina worked as a stuntman for 25 years. He bought Fort Bravo in 1977. By then, the golden age of the Spaghetti Western was over and he wanted to preserve the studios. Today, the region hosts the three motion picture towns, but only in Fort Bravo does shooting take place regularly. The fort's daily bread, though, are the tourists. They can even spend the night and experience the feeling of the desert. You have to have been here for several months to really experience it. The desert has its own allure, this tranquility. The desert is different. 
Of course, there are times when the heat gets to you and causes problems. But it's not just the acting I like here, the animals. Above all, it's the freedom. Here I've got everything I need. At eight in the evening, you sit here and hear nothing. Not a bird, nothing. It's absolutely silent. About half the desert of Tabernas is a nature preserve. Millions of years ago, all this was under the sea. People can only venture off the roads and trails with a guide. Early in the morning, I have Cristina Serena show me the most fascinating spots in the desert. You know, this desert, it's a sedimentary desert. So as you can see, you know, we have sediments that was formed originally inside the bottom of the sea. And after some tectonic movements and then some uh, climate change, natural climate change, you know, that becomes the desert we know nowadays. The sun shines here for a good 3,000 hours annually. The desert has far greater variety than I'd ever imagined. We go through dry riverbeds called rumblers. Here we are. When the rainwater runs off the surrounding mountains, they can carry genuine rivers. We pass rock formations resembling arroyos, climb over prickly bushes <laughs> and come upon familiar movie sets again and again. The only, uh, oasis here? Cristina yes, Serena works not only as a guide, but as a location scout for film productions. Over 500 films have been shot here, not all of them westerns. Small, very, very small rambler here. And look exactly the same. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah. And it's here, exactly the yes. same. Yeah. And here we can recognize, you know, the place. Yeah. She knows exactly where, for a few dollars more, Lawrence of Arabia and the latest Terminator installments were shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, also we can, rec we can realize that, that the desert, you know, that, that doesn't change too much. Since uh, all the time yeah. he, the people came here to make, and the production uh, came here to make movies, but uh, it's, we are talking about 50 years ago, and the desert is near the same. This is the reason yeah. why we still make movies here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As arid and scorching hot as this desert is, it's still highly popular among hikers. And they are rewarded again and again for the hardships with views like this. <laughs> This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now I know why you like the desert. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> don't, we don't need to speak, yeah, to talk, you know. Yeah. It's only yeah. uh, an image. You like or you don't like. There is no in the middle, you know. It's right that when you see it and you see that there is no trees, there is no green, uh, it's a, first it's an impact, but I think that it depends a little bit um, your feelings, your personal feelings, you can like more. And when I arrived here the first time, I've never been in a desert before, but I feel that, that I like to be here. I like to live here around. It's quiet, it's beautiful, you know, and, and all, it's clean. And by the end of the day, the desert of Tabernas had cast its spell on me too. I'm surprised that this landscape has so little vegetation, but is so diverse. I feel like I've traveled to another world, back to another time. And wouldn't you like your spirit to lead you into the desert? <laughs> <laughs>